Welcome back to day five of um, this uh, project here above uh, Crested Butte, Colorado. Last night, uh, a couple of big surprises, a couple of few, few of the guys from the shop uh, decided to roll up and we were able to completely knock out uh, sheeting this end wall. And now we're getting into sheeting uh, the, the side wall here. Uh, the guys are uh, placing their trim and uh, we're gonna go over that in detail uh, a little bit probably when we get over to the other wall and I do the other door. But uh, right now I wanted to bring up again uh, the steel line. Where to start panels? I've had a lot of customers really ask a lot of questions and want a, a sheeting video. So I'm gonna hit steel line again and then I'll talk a little bit about lap screws and stuff. Um, when it comes to starting a panel, right, we wanna start on what we call steel line and center of high rib. And the steel line, like I discussed in the other video, is the outside face of the steel. Where the panel meets the meets the uh, the framing, that is steel line, all the way down to the bottom, all the way up to the to the rake or the eave. So when we, they start this, this next set of panels, that high rib or the lap side is gonna line up perfectly centered on this line. And that's what we want. That keeps our modulation the same so we can lay out our trim for our doors. This wall, we started sheeting here and we moved this way. Uh, keeping the bearing leg down, and I, I think you saw a video of that, but the, underneath this, this leg runs all the way down and supports this lapping leg. Uh, so we started sheeting this way. We pre-drilled all, all of the holes, including the, the, the lap screw holes. And when we pre-drill that, we only pre-drill the lap screw holes on the lap side. Use the screw to finish the hole on the other side. You'll never, if you, if you line them out, you'll never be able to get them to match up. Uh, at the bottom, two screws in each low pan section. And then uh, in the intermediate girts, and I know I already went over this, but in the intermediate girts, we just do one screw per pan section on the lap side. So we're, we're obviously not done sheeting this. Uh, before we can do the roof sheeting or do any trim work up there, we're gonna have to trim all of the panels. And there's a few ways to do that. We'll probably just use a Sawzall. Uh, I place the screws very close to the top and since it's just a 112 pitch, there's not much panel overhanging. So it's gonna hold it real good. It's not gonna make as much noise. If you have like a 412 or a 612 in your cut and you have, you know, six inches of panel, flailing around up there. Uh, it makes a lot of noise. It might be better to use a cutoff wheel. I really don't recommend cutting these on the ground um, because you're probably gonna have to trim them anyways uh, once you get to the top. So even if you cut them to the ground, if you have to raise it up, you still gotta come through and do it. And by doing it up in the air, it makes a real nice flat line and it, it makes the work so much faster. Uh, we also do two screws per pan section up at the top of the rake and then Everything in, in the middle is just the one screw or the three screws per girt line uh, in each panel. Um, if there's lapping, this building's 18 feet tall, so we're about pushing that line where we would normally put a lap in there. On laps, you'll need to do two screws in the pan section too, uh, or per pan section. We're gonna get to sheeting this wall here in a few minutes. And again, when we start sheeting, we're gonna start with the uh, with the steel line on the under on the uh, bearing leg rib. So actually they're gonna have to start sheeting from that corner because uh, this will be the first panel to go up. And then when we get to the door, uh, I'll try to get some good footage of how we trim around the door, or not how we trim around the door, but how we cut the panels to fit around the trim. So we get over there, we'll fire up the camera again. All right, thanks.